While I was meditating, God told me, tell River State it's too early to celebrate. Tell the River State governor, tell those who are around him, everyone, that it is too early to celebrate. Yes, I am one of those who pray for the peace of this state. I am one of those who don't joke with the peace of my Jerusalem. This is my Jerusalem, this state. And God has been answering our prayers. Peace is what we yearn for. And peace will forever be our portion in this state. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. But I heard clearly, sound and clear. I heard clearly. He said, tell them it's too early to celebrate. There is something that comes with celebration. Relaxation comes with celebration. Because when you relax, you may think it is done. He said, tell them to be prayerful. As a government, sometimes we become so busy with governance that we don't pay attention to spiritual matters. Mm. Tell this dispensation to be prayerful. If there is anything that will sustain the air and fresh breath of peace and victory that is around the corner, then they must be prayerful. Because as I'm talking to you, they are, they, there is something underground. I saw a swell, a, a swaying pendulum. You know the way pendulum moves. That someone wants to cross. Immediately the person thought he had crossed. The pendulum hit at the back. Before this election, it's on our YouTube page for record purpose. I gave a prophetic message that it might be difficult for him to come at the second tunnel. And I also sent a direct message to one of his followers. And the message is still there. I told him that he will win during election. But that he may not stay to the end. Then we didn't even know something like this is playing out. That he should be prayerful. He should gather people to pray. And it played out like this. Just that they were smart. If not, impeachment would have taken them off. Last year. Last year. But I see celebration. People jubilating and dancing. Their message came strongly. Tell them it's too early to celebrate. Nothing wrong to celebrate. Nothing, to, nothing wrong to be appreciate God for a victory. But I'm telling you, like I can sound it clearly, it's too early to celebrate. Sit down and do what you need to do spiritually, not physically this time. Because it is the spiritual realm that destabilizes any physical thing you are seeing now. But God will intervene. Amen. The same God that has been intervening will, be, will continue to intervene. Amen. I say he will continue to intervene. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And then I want to tell this to all car owners. Be careful this season. Car theft is on the rise. Because I see people crying where they thief their cars at night. I don't want to mention state name. Because they will say this state, you mention this state. You are, you are trying to destabilize, you are trying to tell the international community that there is no peace in this state. But as far as I am concerned, I can tell you with all wisdom, without calling any state, be careful your movement, be careful of your movement at night. Be what? Be careful. careful, especially those who drive cars. Be careful. Car theft is on the increase because I see a wave coming. It was like they are practicing it. Now they have graduated. It is coming in a dimension where many people will go out with their cars and come back trekking. Any city you find yourself without me calling the name of any state. You know, this prophet operates so much with wisdom. I don't want to say anything that a governance or a government will come and tell me that I demarcated their states. But I can tell you whether you tell me I demarcated your state or not without calling any state's name. Be careful, citizens. Be what? Be careful. Be careful and be very prayerful. There is something I told you to do on Sunday. I told you to pray with honey. Friday. Yes, I told you on Sunday that you should pray with honey on Monday, on Wednesday, and on Friday. In case you are not doing that, you have the opportunity to do it on Friday. In case you didn't do it on Monday, in case you didn't do it on Wednesday, that you have opportunity to do it on Friday. I can tell you the testimonies I have recorded from Monday till now that I can't share on the altar. I can tell you the testimonies that people have called in from YouTube, from Facebook, from TikTok, to tell me, Pastor, this is what God did. Please, I am sending this seed to church account. I am sending this one to your life. I can tell you more than 10 from Monday to just three days. Obey prophetic instructions. My dear, if you don't have honey, go and borrow. Go and get anywhere you can get honey. Do it on Friday. Fast and pray and tell God to make your life sweet. 
Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes. Say, God, make my life sweet. sweet. After the fasting, as you are breaking the fasting, lick the oil. The same way you break fasting and drink water. The same way you break fasting and anoint yourself. The same way you break fasting and eat fruits. Nothing ritual about it. Just take the honey and lick and say, God, thank you for the opportunity to fast. Make my life so sweet. Make my life what? Sweet. Make my life what? So sweet. You, you know, because of time for our services these days, we hardly play fulfilled prophecies. We talked about this year, about the humiliation of a particular minister. I don't want to call any name, but I see it. You see, it's playing out vividly. We talked about it. It's playing out vividly. I don't want to verge so much into political matters. This time around, as I'm talking politics, talking governance, I want to also be focusing in your life. Because the same way I am saying this will happen politically, and it happened. The same way I said it will happen globally, it happened. Why wouldn't I use that grace to speak to someone's life? Therefore, I speak again. Your place, the place you are working, you will receive increment of salary now. Amen. The place you are working, there will be an increment of salary. Amen. The places you pass for work, may people see you and favor you. Amen. To anyone watching online and those here, you are waiting for recommendation, may that recommendation come. Amen. I come in the name of Jesus and I decree that you will not die untimely. Amen. That sickness will not kill you. Amen. Untimely death is not your portion. Amen. Every document you need to release is released now. Amen. Every job you want, God give it to you. Amen. Hear me. He says that we decree a thing, it comes to pass. Yes, Wherever sir. the soul of our feet shall tread, it shall give it to us. For for possession Amen. to those in USA, to those in UK, those in London, those in several countries of the world uh. who are from Nigeria, from Cameroon, from Ghana, from South Africa, Jesus. and you found yourselves in these countries. Uh. I decree because the soul of your foot have touched those lands. May God. God give it to you for possession. Amen. Possess their political settings. Amen. Possess their economical settings. Amen. Possess their health sectors. Amen. Possess their work sectors. Amen. Possess their society. Amen. Everything that will make life sweet, may Jesus. God give it to you there. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. On Sunday I will tell you what to do next week. Mm. This season as the instructions keep coming and you keep obeying, you will testify. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Hello beloved, I often say this, that in the altar of solution and prophecies, there is a prophetic solution for every problematic situation. Take a look at this one in a million testimonies that we always receive. This voice note is just one of the many, many testimonies we have received on this altar of solution and prophecy. Health situation, health condition, blood pressure turned around in three days of prophetic prayers on this mountain. Listen to this voice note and watch to the end to know how you can partake in this altar of solution and prophecy prayers. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Thank you for everything. Though I supposed to have called you or send you a voice note as a kind of testimony. You know, I told you my blood pressure was very high when we started this program or this uh, fasting and praying prayers. So immediately we started, I was getting myself by the day it wasn't up to three days you said you you pray but i only wanted to be sure of what i was uh, doing or the outcome i wanted to be sure of the outcome because i think the second day i was feeling comfortable around my chest um but i said okay no i can't just say it out i have to be in the hospital to do some tests before i will call you and say this is what is the result of our fasting and prayers so fortunately i was in the hospital yesterday so the first thing they did was to take my bp surprisingly you know i'm 44 so considering my age and the kind of result I have or I had yesterday, definitely it can only be God 
a miracle that can bring that kind of result you know so i had my blood pressure at a normal uh, range surprisingly it was 120 over 80 <laughs> something that is very difficult for someone of my age to have and this morning too when i went for a clinic with test it is still something 120 over 80 and i'm feeling very very comfortable very strong and you know since we started our, our prayer if i'm not mistaken i told you that i was having difficulty in sleeping but <laughs> that first day you you prayed for me i had a very sound sleep the second day did something the third day did something and all through i've been sleeping well even in the afternoon i'm not this kind of person that sleep in the afternoon no. i do control myself but as i'm forcing myself not to sleep you know i'll be yawning 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 all through so thank you very much and thank god and i pray that god should continue to bless you and give you more powers to help others thank you very much thank you i will send you the evidence of what they gave me in the hospital yesterday now man of god how do i partake in the altar of solution and prophecies many have called in to say prophesy to me what does the year hold can god do that of course he says he will teach us to number our days so we can know what the future holds many have said pastor health issue mental problems health degradation everything is going down can god do this yes he can do this on the altar of solution and prophecy if there is a man to pray there is a god to answer many have called in and say sir please Please, I need an urgent intervention and ask what has happened. Property that belongs to them has been taken away from them. Others have called and said, Sir, please, marriage is not coming forth and I'm getting old. Others have called in and said, Sir, oh, my car just got missing. Others have said, Sir, I need to complete the building. Others abroad have said, My green card is not there. My visa is not coming forth. My document is not complete. Pray for me, sir. Many, many, many problems have received prophetic solution on this altar the day i take the glory the day i take the praise the day i say i'm the doer god will so give me a knock on my head that i will forget my name all the glory belongs to him how do i partake of this exercise that is the reason why this number is laid out on the screen here don't call send a whatsapp message you know why if i said you should call then that means a secretary is speaking a pa is speaking but this is my direct prayer line if you call this one calls and that one calls and that one calls it gets to a point where the calls are bombarding and i would not i wouldn't know the one to take and if you give me your prayer request through a call i will forget it because after you drop the call another person is calling so easy make it easy for me and make it easy for yourself go to the whatsapp app dial this number send me a message i would welcome you you give me your prayer request i will respond immediately immediately i am so programmed for that immediately that i will tell if i don't respond immediately maybe i'm on the altar preaching i'm in a program but immediately my phone is in my hands i respond Bond immediately and i will tell you the prophetic exercise that will be carried out for the prophetic solution you are looking for hear me if you can obey prophetic instructions no need for you to call in jesus would have told that blind man go your eyes are open no he poured saliva on the ground he mixed it with sand put it in his eye socket he didn't end i said young man go and wash in the pool blind man should go and wash in the pool a man that cannot see should go and wash in the pool that is a very difficult instruction this generation wouldn't have obeyed that instruction that you are telling a blind man to go instead of telling him his eyes open the prophet told the widow of Zarephath, the last thing in your house prepare it for me to eat that is how your abundance come in this generation you give that instruction they will that prophet a thief they will tell the prophet that the bible says you should not pay money for you should not uh they will tell the prophet that God did not support you to give me what belongs to you before you do any miracle for you. Are you selling the miracle? You see that this generation don't love to obey instruction, but they want to come out of destruction. Not knowing that miracles are obeyed instructions. And this instruction obeyed by the one sharing the testimonies have just saved them from obstacles and problems of life. Are you willing to obey the instructions that come with the prayers you demand? 
then come to the inbox. God can do it. Three days, three days of prophetic attention. I give you attention for three days. My God will do it. My God will do it. My God will do it. And for many of you, yours is not prayers. Eh? Yours is just God has been so marvelous on this altar. Prophecies coming to pass back to back. Can I lay a seed of sacrifice on this altar? Just your sacrifice can turn life around for you. Just your sacrifice can answer prayers that would have been praying for three days. Eh? This is the account it is. Go ahead and do as the Spirit of God leads you. And I know that the answer has come immediately. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you really good. Pastor Mark Miracle, Prestige Gospel Center, Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria, West Africa. For every problematic situation, there is a prophetic solution. ASAP, Altar of Solution and Prophecies. ASAP, as soon as possible.